Okay, here we are. Ah. I've got the plates, I've got my brass. Everything nice and clean. Don't want any oil or anything on these because it, it'll hinder the solder. Um, stuff's a lot thicker than I expected. I've never used it before. It's kind of like okay. Play-Doh, really. We know all about Play-Doh. Anyway, um, I'm just going to try and Oop. Watch what I'm doing, you better see too. Just try and smear a bit on. Um, presumably if I put the brass on, give it a bit of a, a squidge around. Should, let's just have a look. Right, it's spread it quite nicely, so it's probably the best thing to do. We do that and then keep going. Next one. Another dollop. Bloody glare's terrible. All the lights I've got in here. Yeah. I should do. No. Next one. Of course, it's not. Um, maybe the thing to do might be to. I think it's pretty heavy, so I won't just do the do the plates as I go. No idea. There's probably a better way of doing this, but puddle pop stick seems to work alright. Oh yeah, that's better. Makes it easier. There we go. Next one. I'll uh, store all these. I think I better go and um, adjudicate a little fight over there by the sounds of it. It's uh, really sort of sticky. Anyway, I'll do the rest of them and then um, come back when it comes to heating. Okay, here we are. I've got it all together. Uh, my idea was to use a, a G cramp to hold it all together. However, um, my biggest G cramp's not big enough. Um, I think it was before I put the brass in. Um, also, I'm going to tip this on its side. I'm thinking the best thing to do might be to use a plate of steel. And do. There we go. That with it. There we go. Alright, so. Try and make sure everything's lined up fairly well. Obviously, the less that we have to machine off this, um, the bigger the block will end up. So I'm gonna push all the everything down to line up the same line and try and line it up roughly. Side to side, and then hopefully it won't all slide everywhere when I do the clamp up. The clamp's not quite pushing straight. It will. There we go. It will do that. So let's just lift that end up a bit. Nice. Yes, that doesn't look too bad. Give the clamp a crank. Sorry, you can't see a whole lot there. Well, so now we have a. A great big solid sandwich of solder and paste and brass and steel. Um, yeah, there's a couple with holes in them, but they look like they're clear. That one there might need to. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, I'm just going to put a pliers or something and try and do that up a bit more. So you want to tighten off, I noticed some of those brass plates were um, a bit of flex in them, a bit bowed, so I want to tighten off to squash any of that out. Now, um, ideally, the um, best thing to do with this would be to put it into an oven, about 300 degrees, just heat it through. I don't have an oven. Um, I also don't have an oxy at the moment. 
What I was going to do is I've got a gas torch over there and a gas stove and I was going to use both of them and just um, heat it up. I have a, a temperature pen for 300 degrees um, so that'll let me know hopefully as I get it hot in the right places and hopefully I'll be able to see the solder stone to, to come out too. Since I've never used this stuff before I'm not sure what it does but I presume I'll be able to see it. Um, so yeah I'll go and solder it up and um, I'll be back. Alright, so here we are again. Um, it's cooled down. I ended up giving it, letting it cool down a fair bit and then giving it a bit of a bath just to make sure. Some um, you know, piece of steel that size is going to keep its heat for a fair while. Anyway, um, I'm just going to check the overall size, see how I went, see how this with my solder clearances and, and everything. Um, so we have 11 poles that should be 5 8 overall, so 625 thou plus one block at 495.6 thou. So um, if we go 0.625 times 11 plus 0.4956, we should have 7.3706, so 7 inches 370 thou and 6 tenths. Um, I only have a metric micrometer that's over um, 5 inches, so um, I've got a a tester here which is uh, 100 to 200 mil interchangeable anvils um, so if we take our obviously we take our measurement inches and times it by 25.4 bring it back to 187.21 millimeters so let's just see how we've done so that's 175 180 185 so we should be at 12 Point two on this. All right, so we've ended up at big mix like this can be hard to fit. Twelve point two. 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 Twelve 0.2 of a millimeter, so around about eight thou. Too big. Um, so we've got 187.21 to 187.38. So yeah, about seven eight thou. Too big over um, 11 21 solder joints. Um, I don't think that's too bad actually. Um, probably obviously my solder joins ended up just a fraction bigger than um, bigger than I thought. If it's point, um, point three seven, uh, sorry, point one seven millimeters. Uh, divide that by twenty one. Ah, I know what I didn't do. I only allowed. There's a uh, uh, something not to do. I only allowed one solder join per block of steel. I needed to allow two for each side. So um, we've got 0.17 um, divided by 0.0254 to get us back to thou. So it's 6.7 thou. Um, so it looks like, looking at that, I allowed a thou for each, each for the solder in each pole, for the which ends up being two solder joints. Um, it looks like I should have allowed um, 1.6 thou, so one thou and six tenths um, for each solder joint, so uh, eight tenths for each joint, and um, which I think eight tenths would be pretty close to the 20 microns that was on this tin. What's eight tenths in metric? 0.0008 times 25.0008 times 25.4 equals 20 microns, 20.3 microns. So um, that's pretty much spot on the minimum, the small size of this solder joint. So um, yeah, got to be pretty happy with that. So there's something for you, 1.6 thou.
for the two solder joints, 0.8 thou each. Anyway, um, I'm now on, a bit unsure what to do with this. Um, I've just had a look at my, uh, I was going to put quarter inch pins through it. My quarter inch long series drill bit won't make it all the way through. Um, I'm wondering if, if it's going to be strong enough, silver sold, soft soldered together, to um, put in the vise, mill off two sides, try and drill it from either side. The chances are, though, over that distance, the drill bit's going to wander. So I might um, might have a look on uh, my favourite online shopping experience and see if I can't get, say, a 3 16th drill bit um, that's long enough to go through all the way through this. I can drill it through 3 16th and use a good quarter inch drill bit from each side um, before I put the pins in. Um, so that's where we're at at the moment. And um, I have to wait a week or two to get a drill bit from somewhere to, uh, to finish it off.